Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. I had an experience uh, very, very subtle. Maybe this is a, something, some, something that also somebody else relates to. It was uh, in connection to my breath. Because when uh, you invited us to observe our breathing, right? And how the inhalation expands the belly. And I noticed I am very high up right now. It's like beyond, be, <laughs> above 2,000 meters. So I, I, I'm experiencing lack of breath. <coughs> I don't know if the lack of breath, what is, you know, what it is. But then I could really perceive the it's almost like you know what you you just said to 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 observe but of, but my, my the mechanism in my brain went okay now i need to breathe <laughs> now i need to breathe deep and breathe, breathe deep in deep out and then there was this moment of fight in which i wanted to breathe when my body when my when my body really wanted to exhale you know <laughs> and i was kind of fighting against myself <laughs> And that's that's really good because that's that that there you were wrestling with the breather you were the breather the separate breather and you were observing the breather and then you were also doing well i don't want to be the breather i just want breathing to occur in openness so you were you were just working with this invitation and observing things and that process has a purifying effect even though maybe you didn't feel any pure you know you were just a bit like mm -hmm, but just having tried like that and having observed and it as you say it's so subtle and it, it has an effect it has yeah, an effect it, i love it has a loving effect on the body on the breath just it's saying something to this breath and to this separate self that you know what you're not really real breather you know what you, you don't actually exist look you're made out of these tensions these and and it's just saying loving lovingly the truth it's saying the truth on a tactile level at the same time, there's a fight going on a bit like, yes, I am the breather and I need to take a <laughs> and it's Yeah, so it took a moment of fight and then I, I sort of surrender and I said, wait, if, I, if I'm going to exhale, I'm going to just go until it goes. And I exhaled many, many exhalations, but two, three times before the next, before the, in, the incoming breath was about to, you know. Yes. Yeah. So that was an interesting experience for yeah. me. Yeah. I think the breath is a great and ultimately yes yeah i feel it, it communicated something you know also because yes, the breath yes. is so connected to our emotions right so the breath is very very the breath is with us uh, you know from the birth to the death of the body the breath is with us so it is a place where we identify i am the breather because it's always there i mean other aspects of the body are not always there but the breath is very very connected to to the ego and to, to the thinkingness as well. I am the breather, I'm the thinker. So when we, so observing the breath and, and trying to emulate a feeling that I am that in which the breath arises and dissolves, that I am not the breather, all of that is a very, it will reveal the habits of, of grasping, of, of controlling, of, wanting i mean it, it is it will reveal everything it will reveal the fear of death it will reveal reveal and then and then at moments it will reveal oh the it will reveal the truth in a very very beautiful way so anyway <laughs> thank you maria rosa Hi, Ellen. oh there was a be beautiful moment when you said the experiences the the, the um I can't remember exactly the words but how the the feelings that have become crystallized they're just waiting for some love yeah. and i felt that took me into another level of seeing how i feeling how i resist my body yeah unpleasant hard feelings it just took me into another level of it. It was really beautiful, that moment. They're just waiting for some love. Uh, uh, yeah. Well done, Keith. I, I, I just feel so touched that you noted that and yeah, that you're willing to 
to to go there in a way we we go there you know we don't really go there obviously because we are always, always saying that those layers come and we are the presence that welcomes them but i don't know there is a, a uh, anyway i i don't want to say anything i, I just i'm just really happy that that you understood and and were invited to go deeper or that there was a deepening yeah, because that occurs to me that the separation is actually in a way from our own body as well. What do you mean? You talk about separation. Yeah, I mean, sense the... of separation. And part of it is somehow absolutely sense that I'm separate from my own body and I'm pushing it away. That's right. Yeah. Okay, I don't think we want to speak too much because you understood, I understand, and hopefully everybody else understood and putting words sometimes just, you know what I mean? <laughs> don't, I don't know, you know what I mean? Yeah, okay. Thank you, Keith. <laughs> I think it's because I I'm uh, I I'm 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 edging towards a new f way of of inviting where we're not so in a hurry to to point out because obviously in the non-dual understanding we know that the body is made out of of presence of God so and we know that God is unlocated open transparent ever present so in these yogas we often you know obviously we we're gonna we have lots of ways by which we can encourage the body to to be perceived in line with that but i feel more and more that we mustn't step over or bypass or go around the very real experience that is called suffering and that and we should i don't know i feel that more and more so at this of course i don't i don't feel we should we should sink into suffering for the for the in a perpetuating of suffering endeavor not at all but um it seems to me that there's a lot of suffering going on these days in this world and in our lives and that it it's a worthwhile place to visit and whatever that word means of course because when we, in the now all it is is layers of, of vulnerability of if we read the labels there'll be a label there'll be a story there'll be but in the now it's just this body this layer upon layer of feeling 